Hi everybody, my name is Stefan Pastuschka and you are probably seeing this video because we are going to have a workshop together. And in this workshop, we are going to use ConceptBoard, which is a digital collaborative whiteboard solution, which means we can co-create in the workshop like we could if we were sitting together in a workshop and using post-it notes and a pin board. I will show you how ConceptBoard works, at least for the key functions which you need to use in the workshop. Have a look at my computer screen. I have sent you a link which you will open using your browser and um, Firefox will be fine or um, Google Chrome, any modern browser will do. And if you enter this link, you will land at a page which looks like this. And as you are going to join this board, please use the guest access, which means you click on the big G. Then you join as a guest and you enter your name, which would be Stefan in my case, and you click here, I have read the privacy policy and you access as a guest. Then you see we are entering an empty board. And when you have a look here at the top or part of the board, you see a toolbar. You can see the hand, the hand is used to move around on the board, which is a little bit difficult to see as it is still empty. Um, the arrow symbol helps you to select items on the board. You can draw, you can highlight, and the most important function for you is the sticky note. When you press on the sticky note, you can select from a number of sticky note colors, or you click on this one, or you select your own color, which you like, for instance, the light green. And I would like to use the light green now. I select that and click on any empty space on the board and the sticky note is opened. And just enter your text there. Say sticky note number one. All right. So we have created the first sticky note. If I click outside of the sticky note, then um, it is fixed. When I have the arrow symbol and I click on it again, I can, I can see the context menu. For instance, here I could change the text size whatsoever. For instance, setting from 18 to 24 or sending it back. But usually you don't need to do that. Anyway, what you can do is you can change the size of the sticky note, which is quite helpful from time to time. Moreover, you could also duplicate a um, sticky note either by right clicking on it with the mouse um, and then uh, you can copy it and by right clicking again, you can paste it on the board or you can use shortcuts like Control C for copying and Control V for pasting. Or you just click Control D and then it is duplicated and it appears in a new space. Now it all says sticky note number one, which is bullshit. So let's change that sticky note number two and um, this one sticky note number three. Let's choose another color here. Let's do it in yellow, sticky note number three. Now we have three sticky notes here, which we can move around. And if you have a board, you want to zoom in and to zoom out. That typically works with the scroll wheel on your mouse. I can scroll in, everything gets larger. I can scroll out and everything gets smaller. With the hand symbol, now you can really see I can move around on the board. But I could also use the scrolling bars of the browser to do that. That's just up to you. Another nice function is the drawing function. You can select the pen here, the scribbling pen, and you can select a color here. Let's choose black. Black is beautiful. And then you can just draw or write something like this high there. Perfect. You can, you can also draw as you like, and you can also produce arrows or something like that. Very easily done. And remember to move around, use the hand symbol and to select things, the arrow symbol. You can also select multiple things by just dragging the area, selecting multiple, and then for instance, delete this face. Very easy. It's like PowerPoint with multiple users. Another function which I would like to show you is um, to upload images. Here on the left hand side of the board, you find the plus symbol. When you click on the plus symbol, a menu opens, which uh, gives you the opportunity to do different things. For instance, instance, you can insert icons, you can select icons here and drag them to the board 
for instance, this heart. Um, you can change the color here as well. Let's use a red heart, for instance. But you can also, you can also um, insert something else. You can insert files, which means images. And this will be important in our workshops as we want to do um, very visual workshops. Uploading a file means um, you can upload something from your computing device. For instance, I'm selecting this cocktail glass here. When I select that, you see um, it is being converted. This will take a moment. And after it is converted, it will appear here right on the board. You see it is quite large now. And when I click it, I can adjust the size and move it around very easily. So we have a cocktail glass here as well. We can reposition that as we like. You can upload any image you like, but please pay attention that the images are not too data heavy. Um, otherwise, it will slow down the board. Another possibility to, um, to import images into the board is uh, selecting something, for instance, from the, in from the internet, um, by bringing it to the clipboard. You just copy it to the clipboard and then you can paste it into the concept board by just um, pressing Ctrl and V. Copy and paste, very simple. All right, this is it. These are the main functions um, for a concept board, which you need to know. And maybe to round up the session, um, you can log out here. You can end the session. However, when you do that, when you end the session, please remember that um, you cannot touch the um, objects you have created before if you were just joining as a reviewer. Typically, you are joining as a reviewer. When I invite you as an editor, then everything remains the same. You can touch everything, move it around, also the objects that have been created by other co-workers. However that may be, I wish you a lot of fun with concept board and um, I will have prepared a, a test board for you, which you can check out and familiarize, familiarize yourself with the different functions. And later on, um, we will work together in the real workshop with a big board with a lot of functions and co-create um, and have a great workshop. I'm looking forward to meeting you there. Have fun with concept board and bye bye.